consumption explode, radically altering life on Earth. We're now causing the extinction of more species than have gone extinct in the last 65 million years. Scientists estimate as many as 100 to 1,000 species are wiped off the face of the Earth each day. And scientists expect two-thirds of the world's species could be gone by the end of the century. All signs say we could be part of that extinction unless we do something drastic. In this plantation, growing sisal for export to France is a relic of what this forest used to look like. A 1,500-year-old baobab tree from an ancient forest. When this was a sapling, there were 300 billion people on Earth. In the life of one tree, we've consumed most of our life support system. Most of the fish, most of the forest, most of the food. And now, there are seven billion of us. This is no longer just about saving the oceans. It's about saving ourselves. I think the most important thing any of us can do to turn this around is we need to be the change we want to see. We need to be the revolutionaries. We need to be the eco warriors. Nobody else is going to do it. Saipan is now officially the second place in the world to the entirely ban shark fins. A sixth grade class pushed it with everything they could. The world will never be the same because of this. Kathy's class taught me how we can save our species. All it took was awareness, and we fought for sharks. Now we have all the tools to solve the biggest crisis in history. We just need people to know what's going on, and we'll change the world again. Make your own group. Start both this and then make a riot. Sharkwater, it really proved to us that people will do the right thing if we know what's going on. 
that you know humanity is good, that we will stop the consumption of this you know, dish that's causing the demise of one of the oldest, longest lasting, most important predators the planet has, if we know what's going on. And right now there's no government agency, there's no conservation group, there's no corporation that's guiding us to a world that works. So all we have is our morals, all we have is our humanity. Once we're educated, we'll feel bad about engaging in stuff that's destructive for the environment and for future generations, and feel good about stuff that's you know, productive and, and supports future generations. So I think education is key. And from the center of all the revolutions in the past, you know, cultural, racial, gender equality, these revolutions happened because everyone knew what was necessary. Everyone knew we needed equality. And right now, you know, what percentage of the planet has any idea of what's going on, what, what we portrayed in the movie? A small, small percent. So our goal is to get revolution seen by one billion people. And we think if we get a billion people to see this movie, things can change. We'll engage different governments, different individual actions, and different corporations. We got 124 million people to see my last film, Sharkwater, and stuff changed out of that. So now we've got bigger goals and bigger ambitions, and we hope you will be involved and help us and help spread the word. So I think the opportunity is in your hands. You know, the future is yours to take back, but you've got to do something about it. So please, please get involved. And Jelly Wizzy? Yeah. Yeah, this is the Jelly Wizzy for you.